Chat, help me out. What was the name of the game that um, Jesse was saying he got super into and did for a Cox Tease episode? Like Valiant something? Fuck, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> it looked really cool. I want to play it today. Scoog, you're demodded. Get out. not Valiant Hearts. That's forever ago. It's also not Sundered. It's, man, it's like a tactics game. Fuck, I might just go after it. Be right back.
Ugh, got him composed. All right, what's up, guys? Sorry I'm so late. Sam and I were arguing about uh, farms. Don't ask me. <laughs> I realized, oh shit, I need to. I really need to um, go do a stream. So, what's up, everybody? I will never, I will never remember. Oh, are you guys ready for no webcam? Oh shit, where am I? Oh, you know, just hecking up as per usual. There we go. What's up, everybody? This seems rather dark. Why does it look so dark? Why does it look so dark in here? Happy one year, notice me, hentai. Today's my birthday, which means I give you money, right? <laughs> Happy birthday and happy one year. Happy two years. DXEO, I've achieved ultimate trashness. Witness my golden glory. Thank you so much. <coughs> nope, it's on. If it was off, it would. I would look like a, a evil shadow person. Zapsaurus, thank you for the four months. It's the shirt. <coughs> oh, that's a little brighter. That's better. That's better. PZN01, thank you for the four months. <gasps> Daniel! Kirion, thank you for the 11 months! <laughs> and there he is. Sweet Danny. Danny, thank you for the 8 months, dude. I'm very excited for our, our new shirt endeavor. Hero82, thank you so much for the 26 months! Thanks for all the resubs, guys. <coughs> Abivana, thank you for the four months. I do. You're not an evil shadow person. I am not. Um, it's an Omo Cat shirt. <coughs> it's a little bug boy. The shirt would squick out plenty of people. Scary Infection Man, thank you so much for the five months. Yes, we're gonna be releasing a new <coughs> shirt very soon. Um, Josa zero nine, thank you so much for the eight months. It's all designed. It's all ready to go. We're trying to put, because we've had such a problem with people stealing our designs and putting them on their own stores, we're trying to put a watermark on it, but they're kind of like misunderstanding what we want. Worst Penguin EU, thank you so much for the happy one year. And Kelsey Ica, thank you for the eight months. When does this shirt endeavor take place? Once they understand what a watermark is, um, then we'll be able to... <laughs> Put it up. Archimedes94, thank you so much for the eight months. <laughs> Terokai, thank you for the seven months. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Filthy t-shirt thieves. It's it's insane how many people do it. It's like we find it on Amazon, we find it everywhere. Gecko Gunner, thank you so much for the three months. And Takara-chan, thank you for the 11. So much Nia. So many me. Me. Pixel Lily, thank you so much. I wore my death bonus shirt the other day. A ton of people were like, whoa, that's a sick shirt. Is that a band? Hell yeah, we did it. <laughs> that's the goal. That's always the goal. I am pantsless. Thank you for the 11 months. And Ace Kev, thank you for the 9. And Barado Bu, you're about to show up, but thank you for the 32. They're printing the watermark onto the shirts. <laughs> See, that's the problem, right? They were like, oh, we'll just put a watermark in your design. And we were like, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean put a watermark in the design? How does that fix literally anything? <laughs> Moel, thank you so much for the 10 months. I didn't imagine people stealing shirt designs would be that big. It is. It's it's huge. And we have to we report them and then they just put it back up. Like they don't have a system to be able to like shut down a person. So it's fucking stupid. Carmen. Carmen Gia girl. Thank you so much for the four months. Yeah, so if you ever see if you ever see a store that's selling our shit, and it's not us. Please let us know so that we can get it taken down. Hermes, thank you for the nine months. <coughs> and Ezra Urbania, thank you for the ten. Yeah, Redbubble is really bad about it. Um, you can put pretty much anything up on Amazon. Teespring <coughs> lets you put pretty much anything up. It's 
it can it gets it gets messy memnon thank you for the 13 months i only buy duger qualified merch well the problem is sometimes people don't know they're like is this your store because i can't tell because it has the exact same shit on it i'm like fuck why does this happen over there thank you for the seven months Welcome. and you bandit reynard thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang thank you for the support hope you're having a lovely day and use the emotes for evil not good Mike the Prude, thank you for the 18 months. It was awesome you had Erica on Co-Optional. She's one of my favorite people. She's one of my favorite peoples. Isn't she great? I love her. Yeah, she's fantastic. Like, she's just so endlessly sweet. Like, just, just like a genuinely wonderful person. Jeffa Cake, thank you for the four months. I'm watching a great stream while I take out my stitches. Oh, no. Rye Guy, I hope that goes well. Oh, God. Yep, see? Did not take long for people to find them. <laughs> people are doing it constantly. So, yeah, we were like, we just want the preview image, the preview image of the shirt. We want you to, we want, like, a watermark on it. And they were like, yeah, just put a watermark in the design. I was like, that literally doesn't fucking do anything. <laughs> what the, what are you talking about? So... Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I re-explained, uh, why we would want a watermark, and that we don't want it on the actual shirt. So we'll see what happens. <coughs> Ryan Logan, thank you so much for the eight months. Yeah, honestly, Dxio, that's not a bad idea. It's just, like, make sure that everything has a link to the right store. <laughs> Be like, this is my store! This is it! This is the one! <laughs> when does Dukes go across the pond and get all married and stuff? Um, we are leaving very soon to go to Europe. Um, not only for our own wedding, but for a best friend's wedding. So we will be there for quite a while. Um, which is why I tweeted the other day being like, thanks ahead of time for being super patient with us because we have no idea what the fuck the situation is going to be like when we go to England. Um, we'll have two laptops. We're planning on both streaming. I'm probably going to take like an early happy three years, Ghost Bear. Hell yeah. Ghost Bear 83Z, thank you so much for three years of awesome support. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> well, the stream times change. They will. They will. Yeah, because I'll be I'll be doing like early morning England time, Welcome and then uh, letting Sam take whatever part of the day that he wants because it's a lot easier for me to wake up early. Joker's Butler, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang, and Chiaro, thank you so much for the eleven months. Do they throw rice at weddings in England? I don't know. I'm realizing there are lots of differences between England and American weddings, though. So there's that. Philip Anson, thank you so much for the two years. I appreciate it. I hope it's been two awesome years. You're not going to miss Anime Expo, right? Um, I'm not. I'm not really going to Anime Expo very much, though. But I'm not missing it. I'll be here for Anime Expo. What are we going to play today? I was trying to find this fucking game. I can't believe that none of you are remembering the game that I'm talking about. No matter fail, thank you so much for the seven months. There was a game that Jesse talked about on the Co-Optional Podcast. This, like, this last Co-Optional Podcast that we did. And it looked like a super cool, like, isometric sort of weird tactics game. I think. And it had a really cool style to it. And I thought that the word Valiant was in it. But it doesn't seem like anybody else can remember this game existing or being talked about. <laughs> Home Skillet Sam, thank you so much for the six months! I don't think it was recorded. That's not what I'm talking about. I mean, just like people who watch the podcast. I know that some of y'all have crazy memories, so I rely on that sometimes. I'm like, yeah, what was that one thing that Jesse mentioned that one time for like a split second? And normally somebody knows. So I'm shocked that in this situation, 
Regalia. Oh my god, I think that's it. Oh fuck. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. Yes. Yes. This is the one! Oh. Bless. 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 We did it. We found it. Thank you guys. Holy shit. Welcome. Oh. Capricious Corvid, thank you so much for subscribing. It's your first Twitch subscription ever. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good. And enjoy being a member of the Katogang. The hive mind works again. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that y'all remember that. Because I was like, that game looks awesome. I totally want to play it. But I forgot to put it into my cart to, like, actually buy it. Thank goodness. I've been wanting someone to play this so I can see if I want to buy it. Jesse had good things to say about it. And it looked like it might be a fun game for us to stream. So, why not? Fail 2008, thank you so much for the seven months. Do you, Jesse or TB, ever go to Canadian cons? It would be awesome to meet you guys, but I can't ever go to the US. I've never been to Canada. I would love to go to a Canadian convention. At some point. <laughs> What was the fast action game you were looking at during the stream? Fast action game? I don't know. What fast action game are you talking about? Y'all, where are you from? I'm from Oregon. I'm not from the South. Um, but I've always said y'all. I think that it's a good, uh, like... It's just a great word. Y'all is a great word. And I don't know why people get mocked for using it. <laughs> Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Ah! Art of Cell, thank you so much for the seven months. Um, there's that whole goof with Yaldiv. The Yaldiv goof was making me laugh really hard. I think it was like an Overwatch meme that happened for maybe a day. <laughs> Welcome. Severick, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you're having a great day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Saying you all is just annoying. Yeah, or saying, like, everyone. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I'd rather just say, hey, y'all. <laughs> it's, like, so much shorter. But I will... I've told this story so many times before, but for anybody who hasn't heard it, um, the first time that I was in, like... The first time that I uh, was visiting Sam and surrounded by, like, Sam's family and friends, right? It wasn't my first time visiting them, but it was the first time that I was in a room where I was extremely outnumbered right like not just immediate family but just everybody was around and nobody was eating and i was like well if y'all ain't gonna eat this i'm gonna start and they all stopped talking looked at me and were like did you just say y'all <laughs> and they thought it was the most american thing they'd ever heard in their lives <laughs> i was like great so all right guys let's play some regalia Oh my god, that was so loud. <laughs> I had this turned up so loud. Holy shit, that was the loudest thing ever. <laughs> oh my god, that was so loud. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get rid of Medicam. Wow, holy shit, that was the loudest thing that's ever happened in my life. <laughs> oh my god. I use Medicam when I uh, when I play Final Fantasy with Tiri. Because it's the only way to, like, have your camera be in multiple places at once. Welcome. Potted Roach, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Katogandu. Thank you for the support. Hope you're having a great day and use the emotes for evil, not good. Okay, let's... Wow, holy shit. That hurt. <laughs> um... Let's mute Windows Sound just in case this acts like a shithead. Please don't act like a shithead. Please don't act like a shithead. 
What are these ratio? What are these screen resolutions? Okay. Mr. Fribbles, thank you so much for the four months. It's trying to open. It's trying really hard. Oh, we got it. We got it. Girl, we got it. Girl, we got it. Oh, baby, she's got it. Okay, how's the sound? So, the way that he pitched this game was that you show up uh, to, like, a completely decrepit castle, and you're trying to get the castle back to, like, working order, but there are constantly people trying to attack it. New cheer motes. Are there new cheer motes? I don't see them. <laughs> Avi, thank you so much for all that. The sound is good. I'm already invested. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, sure. New game, I guess. Story mode or normal. Normal offers a challenging gameplay experience. Enemies will pull no punches. The game was designed with this difficulty level in mind. Yeah, let's go normal. Beware line of sight. You cannot kill what you cannot see. Thomas Jefferson. Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. Go on. It is a sad, hostile land. A wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Loren. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the gem in the realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. Oh no. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, <gasps> until now. <gasps> until we in show a up? country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. My his son. only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, young Kay sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. Sick. The legend is about to be retold. <laughs> yeah, let's do this shit. How can you afford a bodyguard if you didn't know you were royal? But we're the noble house Lauren. Oh, hello, my name is Gwendolyn Lauren. I guess I'll have to be your guide. Do me a favor, at least try to read the pop-ups. Perhaps you'll learn something. You can navigate through the dialogue by clicking through it. Great. You can skip cutscenes instantly, which we won't want to do, by pressing spacebar. If you do so, you'll be given a brief summary of what happened. Oh, cutscenes that require you to make a choice cannot be skipped. And oh. so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, Welcome our hero to arrives to fulfill his destiny. I'm going to need to move everything. Jazzmaster, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. I showed you to my girlfriend. She was like, oh my god, I love her. Have a great one. Jazzmaster, say what's up to your girlfriend. Not in like a weird way, just in like a, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up, girl? Thanks for the love. Megan Diva, thank you for the 11 months. For great justice! Griffith, you're my favorite character already, so. Wait, but that's not our hero. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <clears throat> uh, why am I here? Uh. Urbe, thank you so much for the 11 this months. This is our hero. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> this face! Fuck. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. This place is a mess. 
Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. Yeah. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Totally. Well... What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Wow, Wendy, Gwendolyn. Whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis. Isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes <coughs> of a book on an adventure or something. I like them. Festifer, thank you for the 11 months. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions. To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? <coughs> Mass overflow, thank you for the 11 months. <laughs> Gwendolyn, why are you ruining everything, right? God, she's got such a toot. <gasps> you are so right, I need to change what game we're playing in the directory. Because as of right now, I'm like, we ain't playing nothing. Uh, regalia! There we go, there it is. Three viewers! Let's bump that up a little bit. Okay. In free roaming scenes like this one, you have direct control over K. Grimsteel Reaper, thank you for the five months. Uh, you can press anywhere on the screen to walk, press twice to run, click on a character to approach them and start a conversation. You can exit the free roaming scene by clicking on the icon to pan the camera, hold, okay, and drag the mouse. Okay. Mr. Dumpster Baby and Starry Parade, thank you both so much. In Regalia, you can only save your game in fixed spots. Your town is one of those. You can save your game progress from the settings menu. Click on the gear in the upper right corner of the screen or pressing escape will enable you to access the appropriate option. Okay. <laughs> Do they all get to have this face? Because that makes me very happy. Kate Redsent. Thank you so much for the three months. Have fun saying the Twitch name again. Thank you. Uh, Gwen may complain, but she's very keen on coming here too, right? <laughs> It'll be okay. Trust me. Good things are rarely easy. True that. To town. To town. Oh, they all go to town. Okay. Okay, so we're at the castle. No, we're at the town square, so we can go to the castle and then talk to everybody else. Cool. Not much of an improvement. Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys. Well, at least she has her priorities straight. Look, young master, such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> Aha! No, wait. Rat poop. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. What the fuck? Kay, what is wrong with you? It tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, it's still tea, right? Griffith is like, what? what? <laughs> you do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn, as in literal ashes? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh my god, are we gonna get a ghost companion? What is the meaning of this intrusion? Who dares? Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. You, the one with the dark. What have you done to my remains? I drank them. Well, apparently, I have drank them. This is an outrage! My rest interrupted, my remains defiled. Prepare for severe punishment! <laughs> Just kidding. How are you doing? <laughs> God damn it. I, what? Don't go what on me, 
son. You're the one who drank my ashes, so, you know, some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... Uh, a thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm? Debtors? This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Griffith, please. Uh, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. so you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. The Sinoralis of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? So, heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller and bulkier. And, you know, smarter. That <laughs> ashes stuff? Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, <laughs> might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son. We <laughs> Lawrence are proud folk. And this... this... Oh, oh. Just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump! At least he agrees, of all people. <laughs> Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? This ain't right. This ain't right at all. But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? Well, indeed, noble spirit. <laughs> As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will bring... Uh, uh, hmm. Look, I'm sorry about the ashes. And I appreciate the offer, I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. But Thomas, wait, where are you going? Kay. Kay. Wait, you lot, I ain't done with you. Ugh. Kids these days. I love the animations in this. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> oh, hey, that wasn't weird, right? What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city. Then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. But... We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Oh no, did the stream die? Uh, to anyone who watches my VOD later, hi, what's up? This is just you and me time, because the stream is dead. <laughs> the stream is dead, so nobody can see us right now. Um, I'm waiting for the internet to come back. So, and now we're dropping frames. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, let's shut this shit down, I guess. 